passed away and I couldn't see her actually. Um, she was in the Philippines and I couldn't see oh, wait. her. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't know you're okay. See, I'm, we're very candid. Sorry, I didn't know you're Filipino. I'm Filipino. I don't look like it. Oh my God, give me a hug over here. <laughs> On the next episode of Feeling Sisters, we meet Justine, who shares her struggles with anxiety and depression and how she learned to overcome it. There's a lot of other people's strugglings out there in the world, you know, whether it's through anxiety, whether it's through poverty, whether it's through depression, you know, always remember that if you have that moment to wake up every single morning mm -hmm. and know that you have a roof under your head, know that you have loving and supportive family surrounding your friends, then never ever give up. I'm pretty sure like your grandma would be so proud of you right now because it's like, you know, it's like as far as like energies wise, you know, it's like they're always there. Yeah. And you know, it's like, and I see that glow in you and then probably it's not just the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in every Sunday to Eat, Read, Love for new episodes. Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading, how are you? Um, one announcement, uh, there's Venus webinar, so if you catch it, that's February 1st um, at, uh, I believe it's 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, is that East? No, West, PCT, no, Pacific, I feel like, check the link in the description box, that's it. Okay, and then um, also, don't get confused, oh, but hold on. All the way at the end of this video, you will see a preview of the extended. This is the extended one. The next reading is called extended two. If you do not resonate with this one, you might be picked up in a different timeline during during that we did that reading. So that's the extended two. But the preview for this one, it's all the way at the end. Okay, so let's begin here for my Capricorn. Let's see what's up with you guys. How are you holding up? Are you doing good? Are you doing good? I hope so, yes? Okay. So let's see, hold on. <laughs> Empress, I mean, if that's the flipper card. Okay. I feel like you're feeling good. Okay, but I haven't started. Let me shuffle first. Okay. Okay. So let's see what's going on with the Capricorn. Okay. Let's see what's up with you guys here. Let's see. You got here Nine of Pentacles. Uh huh. Um, waiting for a messenger to talk. It's not like a Seven of Pentacles waiting, um, because you have been very very active in your life. Uh, so, for you, it's not like um, okay. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know, but probably that's an omen for you. Um, because someone is trying to get your attention then. Mm -hmm. Have you given them attention with the Nine of Pentacles? Because the eagle here, if you see it, that's, uh, that's the message. Yeah, that's a message. Should we talk again, So I don't know. Um, because whatever you're doing, I feel that it's, for you, it's just like, um, it's, it's their turn, you know? You could have also left this person like on a like red because the eyes of the hawk over here is covered, so they're clueless. Um, Capricorn, I feel like it could also be dealing with the Taurus, like they're clueless on what you want right now. They kind of feel like you're not as welcome, you know, it's like they're not as welcome in your life, they're more of like, what do I do? Um, because the Capricorn is now stable. The Capricorn is you know, totally independent from them. Mm -hmm. Totally independent. Okay, it's interesting because the next card is the Four of Wands. Which means on your end, life is good. You know, you got that whole vase over there. Like the lovely flowers over here, Capricorn, right? It's like there's nothing right now in your life that is making you feel incomplete. Um, can be financially secure, um, health is secure, you know, everything. Maybe you're a security guard, who knows? You're very secure. Um, they're the eagle, I feel, or whatever that bird is, hawk. But they're, they don't know if they can have a safe landing with you. This is what I'm picking up. Because mm. the fourth one's like you, you're so complete. Like, do you need a relationship? Yeah. 
four of wands. Like you have everything sorted out, you know, everything is in order in life. You like how things are going and growing as an individual. Because remember the four of wands, ooh, we're going to be together. I feel like your life is set. Um, you're very much right now just, well, I'm doing well. I mean, like I've done a lot of uh, managing priorities with the nine of pentacles. So for you, a relationship right now is just something, you know, with a, a cherry on top. It's not something we need it, but it's, I mean, it's good, but it's not really like I'm dying to have it. Like, please, that's, that's beneath me. I'm confident. Like, I'm a confident person in life. A person does not basically give meaning to me. My life has meaning. Oh, you're good, Capricorn. You're good. You're graduating here. Because you have meaning for your life. Mm -hmm. Some people, like, they look for their meaning in their other people's life. Which, you know, it's like it results called dependency. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, like, life is good. So, life is good. Of course, we're going to have some people who are... Well, life is not good, and it's not for you, okay? <laughs> or just embrace it. At least it's a message of goodness. Like, you don't have to be Debbie Downer, okay? Because if that's your mentality, then good luck with that, okay? Um, Wheel of Fortune, it's just like, things are finally turning around in my life. Um, there was a time that I was struggling. Family was a problem. Relationship was a problem. But all those, um, you see, that there's someone who's a, there's a book over here. Like, you could have read some a lot of things in life. You studied your, ta your astrology. Or you've heard enough readings uh, with tarot. And it put you in alignment with things of your faith. Like, things of your faith meaning... Um, your belief in life, like something restored uh, your um, energy with regards to life. Like life is amazing, actually. Like if I look at the downside, then of course it's going to be the downside. If I look at the upside, then life is good. So very, very optimistic. Then you're also feeling it's a sec. Well, I mean, the right one will come along. The wrong one is always the one crashing. You understand me? They come along with you. The wrong one always is crashing. Along is the right one, wrong one is this. So this is not a good sign. This is a good sign. And that's what you're um, going for. The right one. Wheel of Fortune. Long distance, you know, abundance in money and finances, the Wheel of Fortune. You know, health is abundant. Let me see, what's this? You got the Magician. Well, someone wants to <laughs> SLAP you in the face. So I don't want to be mean and say that, in, in, you know, this time. No, like someone wants to wake you up. Like, hey you, always on the run, gonna summertime, baby, gonna have some fun. <laughs> hey you. I feel like you're not as uh, uh, active in dating. You're like, but this person is like looking at you like you are a snack. Like, you know, can I have a piece of that pie? Mm-hmm. They want this person wants to have some spanking, do we? Because <laughs> that's a big hand right there. <laughs> so they want you to wake up. They, you know, it's like the, ma the magician is a manifester. They want you to it's like, listen, like, I'm not getting your attention. Like, you know, it's a single person. It's a magician. It's a Virgo Gemini, but it's a Scorpio for me. Um, but this person has a lot of things. They get the cups, the swords, the pentacles. Like, they have the tools, you know, to get your attention. But those tools does not resonate with you. You understand me? Like. They have everything that you could have, that like people would be looking for, can be, like it's a standard of society or whoever looking. But for you, it's like, yeah, that doesn't, you know, it's like, you gotta step up, you know, this is what you're having with this person. Like, they gotta step up. It's not, it's not work, it's not gonna work out, whatever. Because a magician is an illusionist, right? So they will try everything. It's just like, yeah, they tried everything. Then it's not amazing. I got more things than what they're offering. Eight of Pentacles. You're back on your desk, your business, your career, you know, it's like you're a physical trainer, you're, you're a therapist, you're, you know, you're a doctor, you're an engineer, architect, you know, it's like you're a musician, you're a cosmetics, uh, a, a, a aesthetician, you know, and you're just doing that thing, you know, it's like I'm doing my thing finally. I'm focused on myself, focus on my stability, um, I'm just learning to focus on myself. Chances are you, you know, it's like every time you go in a relationship, your focus is them. And this is what you're appreciating right now. I can improve my skill. I just got back to yoga. I just got back to meditation. I just got back to my, you know, it's like my arts. Like I haven't been, 
you know, like doing my painting or listening, you know, uh, to this music that I feel like I want to for myself. You're doing things for yourself with the Eight of Pentacles. Growth-wise, yes. Accomplishing, you know, one one task at a time, which is good. Mm -hmm. And then you got here, Six of Pentacles. All right. So they want to reach out. They want this thing between the two of you to work. 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 Because <laughs> okay. uh, they want to invest. You're open for it because you know like you are worth the investment. Like I bring stuff in the table and that's what I am. Six of Pentacles because like they need they need me sound. If they feel like they can be on their own, then they can be on their own. But if they want me, they can want me. You know. So this person, you got inside their head. You're full of yourself, meaning you're full like totally full overflowing okay being full is not bad okay being a fool f-o-o-l now that's bad mm -hmm. so you got inside their head you got them thinking okay so you finally got this person into a spot where okay none of the things that i've been doing is working out what do i do should i reach out you know it's like what do we do so they're having inner conflict uh, the magician with the five of wands how do i get the capricorn's attention because you do not seem to care about them being around you or not being around you you, you don't have the need for this person right now and they got them things like all right so who am i because you probably used to during the downside of the wheel of fortune you really used to try to get this person attention but it's like yeah whatever not about that life anymore you understand me okay so I will continue this reading with a preview. It's all the way at the end. Okay, right now it's the extended two. So if you want to see what happens next, go all the way to the end of the video. That's to be in the end of the video. And then you can go to the extended. I'll see you guys again. The link is in the description box. Bye. Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. We're doing your February 4th to the 5th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, this is the daily, so it's back. We've finished the weekly and the monthly, so watch that. And we're gonna do the tarot for here and at the same time the girl oracle deck which is my very first um, oracle deck that's been published um, it's available also so here we go um, let's begin you can always slow this okay here we go Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter here we go let's see here for my Capricorn the new moon is happening in your zodiac in Vedic sidereal so um, chances are, let's see what's gonna happen, okay? Um, in Tropic, it's gonna be an Aquarian, but we follow a Vedic idea all over here. So it happens in Capricorn, which is where it's actually happening, okay? Here we go. Ten of Wands, so that's good. Ending, new beginning. Ten of Wands, releasing the burden. Here's what's interesting, what's happening. Right now, the sun is still in Capricorn. It's not in Aquarius, okay? So if you think that you are, you know, if you're an Aquarian, then the people are not an Aquarian. Okay. Maybe an Aquarian rising, Aquarian moon, but not definitely the sun. Okay, the soul, the soul is connected still to Capricorn. This is still Capricorn season. And this is embarking on something new, releasing the burden. Okay, um, it's happening on Shravana, which is listening. Okay, there can be a lot of things that you have to listen to for now, trying to accommodate so that you can release the burden. Okay. That's that one. That's good. Releasing our burden to start a new life, a new journey with someone can be. Let me see here. Or also giving up already. Okay. Queen of Swords. Okay. Is Libra energy, natural house of partnership. Someone here is cutting cords, Capricorn. The queen decided I don't need a burden. <laughs> Who needs a burden? Life itself is heavy. So do I want a heavy burden relationship? Let me add more, you know, besides my bills, besides my work. Let me add a relationship that will burden me more. Okay. Who wants that? Queen doesn't want that. Definitely. You are in a stage, in a process of cutting. Chop, 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 chop. Okay. Nobody's buying a machete, but might as well. <laughs> Here we go. So you have no time for a bull, meaning you could be dealing with a Taurus. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. You're ending that. Next to the Ten of Wands. 
Ten of Pentacles. There you go. I'm not about to be pulled down and weighed down. Okay? I want something that progress. Oh, I know what that means. <laughs> With the Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Because um, the opposite of, of the Ten of Wands and Ten of Pentacles. Because the Ten of Pentacles grows, legacy, um, a stable relationship. That's where you're coming into as the new moon happens in your zodiac. That's good. That's good. Uh -huh. Once you realize the cut of things that really is just hindering you, there you go. Okay. Ah. First time that this card appears in all my reads today, Three of Swords. You're really cutting off people who's hurt you, who's just lying to you, manipulating you, can't be trusted, hurt you, whatever, you know? Things that they don't do, you know, like not basically in your favor, but you don't appreciate people who will just, you know, who has hurt you. And it's like, you've given up, okay, with humanity. <laughs> I give up, Sal. I give up. Queen of Swords, Three of Swords. But this can be you giving up on, um, on this end, or uh, whoever this person is, giving up on this other person. As soon as the other person gives up, the other person offers something that is a nurturing, um, nurturing the sense of growth. Because Ten of Pentacles, it's, it's a growth, uh, growing relationship. So here's like this. You cut them because they're a burden. Then they switch right away. How is that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Because they know you're determined. Underneath the Ten of Pentacles, justice is justice okay you weigh down it's not about weigh down options okay the merchant doesn't have an option okay as a libra it's a scale of okay of a trade okay so this is never an option card this is about a scale okay so you put it on a scale i give this this is me on the table what do you give back what do I get in return out of this? I put time and effort, I get burden. That doesn't make sense. That's a no deal. No deal. Okay. <laughs> deal or no deal? No deal. Okay. That's that one. So you realize now what you are putting as far as relationship, natural house, Libra, which I told you, Venus is here. Um, it's like, oh, this is what I this is what I offer in a relationship. And I know my self-value. Ten of Pentacles. Mm. And you, you speak the truth though, okay? Let me see underneath the Three of Swords with the Queen of Swords. Death card. Libra and Scorpio. So it can be um, a person who's in a cusper. How is this happening? Jupiter is in Scorpio right now. Vedic sidereal. So there is chance that this person is someone who's like that. Okay, Karaka for her husband. Um, I feel you really cut off ties with a Scorpio can be. Um, if not, a Scorpio has cut ties with you, okay? With, um, with regards to that, once you cut cords, remember, you are in the end and now is a new beginning. The new moon happens in your zodiac, okay? In the next 30 days, it's not that auspicious for you to just grab on anybody's balls. You understand me? Meaning, not for you to take action. This is about to listen only. Um, you ha would have to, you know, um, watch, uh, you know, a nakshatra or a shravana nakshatra so that you will understand what Vishnu was doing, you know, with regards to listening, Okay, so this is it. With death card, a change, a shift has happened. But I feel like both here, okay, so don't mix the energy. Um, it's about to start something new with a person, with someone, because you cut cords. That's the whole energy here, okay? So let's see now what the guides are st uh, saying to us with a girl. Let's see here. The guide is saying to us, here we go. One more. Wow. Falling in love is not a choice. Staying in love is a okay, a choice. So staying, okay. <laughs> okay. That's why you release the burden. Okay, you see that one? Okay. Falling in love is not a choice. Staying in it. When you feel it, you feel it. Trust me, you feel it, you feel it. But to stay in that feeling and that emotion, to stay in the burden with the Ten of Wands, that's a choice. Right? Like what I mentioned, the Queen of Swords doesn't want nothing like that. It realized that something is not, not vibing to what I'm offering the table. Self-value with the Queen of Swords. So if you stay in love with this kind of energy, it's burdening, right? You have to realize that's your uh, conscious, uh, conscious decision that you're doing. And it's also your conscious decision to cut ties, which you did, I'm seeing here. So now, here is the challenge though. Because you will have to be choosing, do you still want this, regardless they change? Do you still want it? Remember, they got the Three of Swords. 
Okay, so let's see if you, if the Capricorn still gonna want this or the other person still gonna want this. Link down there in the description box for the extended read. I wish you guys have a wonderful, oh, and also for the deck, it comes in gold and diamond. I wish you guys have a wonderful, wonderful um, day. Bye, Capricorn. You got an Ace of Pentacles. So that's an offer coming to you from this. Definitely also passionate. Expect a very passionate message from the two of you. So now as the, you know, as the two of you comes together, page of cards.